Hi Pisces, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you, Pisces. Let's see. All right, Spirit, Angels, and Guides, connecting to the Zodiac sign energy of Pisces. What are Pisces person's current feelings for Pisces, please? How does this person currently feel about Pisces? What are their current feelings for Pisces? So we have Ten of Cups in reverse. They're not very optimistic about this relationship or the future or the potential. How do they feel about Pisces currently? Jeez, Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, so again, it's like they feel like the relationship is unstable. The relationship is broken. It's damaged. They don't see it being able to be fixed or rebuilt or restored. Doesn't look like they're very um, hopeful here. Uh, tell me more about this person's current feelings for Pisces. We have the Ace of Swords. Oh, okay. Well, this is communication. They want to talk with you. Talk about what? What's the Ace of Swords spirit? What's the Ace of Swords? What's the communication about? The Seven of Cups. This person's confused. They want to clear the air with you or they want to clear out the confusion. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. This person might think that you have somebody else that you're connecting to, that there's a third party on your side. They might want to know about that or they want they might want to like confirm that with you. Or they might want to know if you're if you're still interested in them, if you, if you if you still have any feelings for them. Um if you still even desire this relationship with them anymore. It's all, I feel like this person is, is saying, is it really over, Pisces? I feel like that's what they're telling you. Is it really over? Like, is it really done between us? Okay. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords spirit. And Pisces person's current feelings for Pisces. The King of Pentacles. So it could be an Earth sign. Capricorn Virgo Taurus. This is someone who wants commitment with you or they wanted commitment with you, a commitment with you, but they feel like they never got any real clarity from you. Who is this? I want to take a look at that King of Pentacles. It could be a, a, a woman. It doesn't have to be a man. Let me just verify what this King of Pentacles is thinking or doing here. Tell me about this King of Pentacles spirit in Pisces person's energy and feelings. For Pisces. Who's this King of Pentacles? King of Wands in reverse. Oh, okay. Interesting. Anything else? 
and the page of pentacles in reverse this person's bitter with you pisces they're feeling bitter they're feeling bitter because you i don't know you rejected them i feel like you rejected them or you um they might feel like you said something hurtful you did something hurtful or you said something hurtful And it's like they still haven't healed from, from whatever heartbreak that you gave this person, that you caused this person. At least that's how they see it. I feel like they're looking at you like you broke their heart. Or you hurt them and they still haven't healed from that, but they, but they still want to talk to you regardless. Because they want to they wanna know where you stand. They want to know if you still have any emotion for them, if you still care, if you, if you still desire this relationship, because it feels to me like they still do. Other, otherwise, why are they, you know, why are they here? It feels like they still want this relationship with you, even though they feel like, you know, it's, it's broken, potentially beyond repair. Yeah, I still don't feel like I know what the Ace of Swords is. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords, Spirit. This person is um, trying to decide if they should attempt things again with you or not. Uh, yeah, tell me about the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there it is again. Wheel of Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Um, I just said this right now. Like, they're they're thinking about whether whether it's an option, whether it's available um, to to repeat this again with you, to try again with you, to start over with you. Like, they want to know if that's still something that's available to do. Well, I don't know. I, I'll have to look at your energy and see what you feel. Let me take a look at this person more, though. Hmm. I feel like they still have more to say. So let me see. What are this person's current feelings for Pisces? Tell me more. I feel like this, there's a lot that's like pent up or repressed inside of this person there's a I feel like there's a lot on their chest you know tell me more about this person's current feelings for Pisces five of wands in reverse Five of Swords in reverse. And the Five of Cups upright. Jeez. Two, three fives just came out. Five of Wands, Five of Swords, Five of Cups. Okay, so this person has been, go has been going through it, you know? They've been having a really hard time here. Just thinking about you and having feelings for you. It's been kind of a... A storm, a hurricane in, in this person's um, life. <sighs> Lord, I don't know what's going on with this person. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what they're feeling. They have so many different feelings. It's like, what don't they have? It's like sadness, depression, regret, guilt, anger. Like, name it and they have it, you know? Name whatever feeling you can think of and they have it. It's like they're so all over the place and so out of control.
They've been going through a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. I don't, I wonder if this has to do with you. I mean, this can't all be from you. This couldn't possibly be all from you. I feel like this person must have some personal issues in their life. And, you know, it's being emphasized with, with you not being in their life, you know, with this separation that they feel like they're going through with you. It's like, it's, it's accumulating, you know. It's um, adding on to the other issues that they have, because I can't believe this is all going to come from you. Like, how does this come from one person? I don't believe that. I think this person has other issues here. And it's like nothing is really working out for them in their life, you know. Possibly like financially too, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, Career-wise and financially, they might be struggling. Their confidence is very low here with the King of Wands in reverse. They're struggling with their confidence. I don't know. I guess I feel bad for this person. It doesn't, it does, I don't feel like this is a bad person. Or I don't feel like this is a person with like bad intentions. I just feel like this person is all over the place. And I feel like they need to like get it together, you know? Because I feel like they're projecting a little bit here. They're projecting their their personal issues onto you and onto this relationship with you. And I feel like this person just needs to like calm down, you know? Calm down, settle down, take a breath. Get it together. Because I feel like this person wants you back with the Five of Swords in reverse. But they feel like that opportunity is gone and it's breaking their heart. They feel like the opportunity to be with you is gone and it's breaking their heart. Okay, I don't know. Let me clarify here more. Tell me more about this energy spirit. Why the Five of Wands, Five of Swords, and Five of Cups? A lot of changes are happening in this person's life. And they're kind of overwhelmed, I feel. Or a lot of changes need to happen in their life. Star in reverse. You see, they're not hopeful at all. They've lost all hope and faith with the star in reverse. High Priestess in reverse. And the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person does want something stable with you. They want a long-term commitment with you. Long-term relationship with you. But they don't feel like that's no longer an opportunity. They feel like it's no longer an opportunity. For whatever reason. They feel like they lost it, that chance with you. And it's breaking their heart. It's making them feel depressed, devastated. But again, I feel like they just this person has other issues and you know everything just feels like it's not working out for them. And I feel like they're in a little bit of a crisis here, you know, going through a little bit of a crisis and they're just trying to like, I feel like they're trying to regain control of themselves, but they're failing horribly. How does Pisces feel about this person? Spirit, let's take a look at uh, your feelings. How does Pisces currently feel about this person, please? This energy is heavy. How does Pisces currently feel? With the tower in reverse here, death upright. 
And the three of pentacles in reverse. Oh, okay. So you don't you don't see this working out either. Look at death and the three of pentacles in reverse. So you don't you don't feel like you two work together very well. I don't know what the details of this situation is, but for whatever reason, I don't know if there's a third party situation here for some of you. Um but regardless, I feel like there's, you two don't speak the same language, you two don't communicate well with each other, it's like it's impossible for you two to, to work together. And with the death card, your feelings are that this needs to be over or this needs to stay over. Stay being over. Yeah, this needs to end or it needs to stay ended. It's interesting, a tower in reverse here. Some of you like tried with the tower in reverse. You tried to avoid an ending here with this person, but inevitably it just it led to an ending because you two just weren't able to cooperate or to understand each other. Okay. Um, tell me more about how Pisces feels about this person. Clarify this energy spirit. Six of Wands. Chariot. Ten of Wands in reverse. You feel a connection with this person still. You still, you know, I feel like you still do feel a connection with them. You feel um, unfinished business with them, but you're choosing to ignore. Ignore your feelings of unfinished business with this person and you're choosing to, you know, keep moving forward in your life with a chariot card. You just don't have, you know, any, any faith in, in this relationship. Any confidence in this relationship. You feel like you're dodging a bullet by walking away. Yeah, you feel like you're dodging a bullet. You feel like this is, this is inevitable, inevitably going to end up in more conflict or more drama or more issues. You feel like it... it you feel like if you don't walk away, it's going to turn into a, a repetitive cycle or a toxic cycle. So you're in this energy of taking control and stopping the madness. Or like, you know, placing boundaries here between you and this person. Um, I'll take a look at that one more time here, um, Spirit. I'll clarify this energy, please. How Pisces feels. Yeah, again with this Ten of Swords in reverse. What, why do we, why does that keep coming up here? I don't feel like you want to do this, Pisces. It's like you don't want to. It's almost like you don't want to be the villain here, but you feel like you have to be the villain to protect yourself. I guess some of you know that this person is being affected. Like you know that they're hurting or you know, you know that they're depressed, you know that they're heartbroken, maybe you can feel it, you can sense it, or you just, you've seen it, you know, you know, you know that they're in a very sensitive place, emotionally sensitive place and energy, but you're in this energy of, oh well, you know, like, I can't help this person, you know, I have to, I have to do what I have to do to protect myself.
It's like you're not allowing yourself to feel bad for this person. Basically, you're not allowing yourself to feel bad about, bad for them, you know? Hmm. All right, Ho hopefully that made sense to you. Let's take a look at the most likely outcome moving forward. I don't see any action coming from this person. Well, let's take a look at that first. We did have the Ace of Swords, so they might communicate with you here. They might try to communicate with you. Though I, it does look like this person is feeling very defeated, though. So they might not even do that. What actions will this person most likely take towards Pisces moving forward into the near future? Oh, okay. Well, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I don't think they're going to take action. I feel like they have it in their mind to, to talk to you, to reach out to you. But I feel like they're going to convince themselves not to do that. Because this person is just not confident that things are going to go in, in their favor. They feel like most likely it's not going to go in their favor. So I feel like they're sparing themselves the, the embarrassment, you know. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that's what they're telling themselves. Like, let, let me spare myself from embarrassment. You know, let me, reach, let me not reach out to Pisces. I accidentally said reach out, so some, for some of you, they will, though, okay? So I feel like it's 50-50. For some of you, they will, but it's going to quickly um, go south, you know? They're going to quickly realize that there's no chance anymore. There's no, there's no opportunity to make up here, to, to make up with you. Yeah. What's the most likely outcome moving forward into the future between Pisces and this person? Ace of Wands. I told you, I feel like there's going to be um, an attempt on this person's side to, to initiate something with you. But this can represent um, a false start. So I feel like there might be a false start here. Um, tell me more about the potential outcome between Pisces and this person. Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. Three of Wands in reverse. King of Cups in reverse and the world. Oh. Justice. Eight of Swords. Three of Swords. Mm. Oh, so this is an apology. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, this person might try to um, come towards you with an apology. Again, it's like they want to make up with you. They want to um, recover the relationship with you because they do feel a soulmate connection with you. But I don't feel like it's going to work out with the world card. I feel like there's going to be another ending here. And with the justice card, this feels like your energy. I feel like you're going to be in this energy of, well, I'm sorry, it's too late. You know, the damage is done. It's too late. Yeah, the King of Cups is in reverse, so they might not be open with you about how they feel. You know, they might not be like direct. They might not directly communicate their feelings to you, but they might try to communicate with you and reach out to you to kind of, you know, um, 
weasel their way back into your life kind of in a very um, indirect way, in a subtle way. But I feel like you're going to catch on to it very quickly and you're going to turn them down, you know. And I don't feel like you're going to waste time in turning this person down. Hmm. Yeah, because I feel like you're looking at this person like... Um, if you did it once, you'll do it again. If, I don't know if that makes sense to you. If you did it once, you'll do it again. But you don't trust this person anymore. Okay. All right, Pisces. So that's what I see. I hope this um, reading made sense to you. I hope it resonated. If it did, please, me, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.